Hey everyone, this is John with the AdMob team, and today I'll show you how to request a rewarded ad, display it, and then handle the callbacks to reward your users. Rewarded ads let you show a brief video ad to your users in exchange for some kind of reward, and the Mobile Ads SDK handles all of the heavy lifting of displaying the ad full screen and letting you know when to reward a user. If you haven't already, you might want to take a look at our videos that show you how to import the SDK into your apps. We'll put a link in the description. If you're comfortable with that, then you're ready to start using rewarded ads. Let's take a look at how to get started. Here we are in a brand new project. I've added my app ID to my info.plist, and I've also imported the SDK into my app delegate. And I've started it using the start with completion handler method. To add the rewarded ad, I'll go into viewcontroller.h, and first I'll import the SDK. The next thing I'll do is add a property, and I'll make it non-atomic and strong. This will be the reference to the rewarded ad that I show my users. If I go into viewcontroller.m, I can initialize the rewarded ad, and I'll provide my add unit ID to the init method. You can see that I've also configured this project with two methods, one to load the ad and one to show the ad. And those are IB actions which are hooked up to two buttons. Let's fill out what I need to load a new ad. The first thing I'll do is create a new GAD request which I'll use in the load request method. In my completion handler, I want to check if there's an error. If there's not an error, I'll log that the ad loaded successfully. If there is an error, I'll log that there was an error. The next step is to display the ad. So in show ad, I'll first check if the ad is ready to be shown. If the ad is ready, I'll show the ad. If not, I'll log that it's not ready. If the ad is ready, I'll present it from the root view controller that I'm already in. So I can pass self in for the root view controller, and I'll also pass self in for the delegate. That means I need to implement the GAD rewarded ad delegate. You can see that Xcode is complaining that I haven't implemented the delegate methods. So I'll go ahead and do that now. There are four GAD rewarded ad delegate methods. The first method I'm going to implement is rewarded ad did present, which is your notification that the ad was successfully presented to the user. The next method is rewarded ad user did earn reward. This is the only required method, and it gets called after your user earns their reward. This method passes in a reward object. Next, I'll implement rewarded ad did dismiss, which gets called when a user dismisses the ad. Finally, I'll implement rewarded ad did fail to present, which gets called if there's a problem preventing the ad from being presented. That's basically all there is to rewarded ads. It's that simple. Let's take a look at our demo, and we'll take a look at the logs. So when I load the ad, we get the log that the ad loaded. And when I show, there's the ad presented log. The user earns the reward after watching for a period of time. And then when they close, you also see a callback in the log. That's all there is to it. Today, you saw how to instantiate and load an ad using the load ad completion handler. You also learned how simple it is to display the ad and how you can use the GAD rewarded ad delegate to receive notifications for when you should reward your users. We've got an example app up on GitHub that we've linked in the description. So take a look at that if you get lost. If you found this helpful, be sure to subscribe for more content and leave a comment below if there's something you'd like to see in our next video. Thanks.